folks the most crucial part we are going to have intellij pyspark setup in this installation steps you may have multiple challenges but that's okay but any issues you face kindly do not worry the reason for everything we have an alternative even for if intellij doesn't work we have alternative but intellij is very real time it's better to have intellij for sure right so my only request is have this setup ready whatever the reason it is complete this right so i'll take you through all the possible steps right now please go step by step right now but please complete this immediately today right the reason why i'm saying any issues you face we'll have enough time to solve it if you delay then that creates a lot of mess then it will be very very tough for us to track you so kindly request you to complete the setup immediately today now sit right because setup or environment should not be a reason for you to not to learn hope you understand please complete the setup today now right don't worry if anything doesn't work we have alternative don't worry now what are the steps you have to follow i've already written the steps right what is the intellij installation first you have to download intellij then you have to install intellij right then you have to download python you have to create python right sorry right you have to install python create python project install pyspark install jdk create py file with any name open git url and copy the code from announcement group paste in py file edit java path run it that's the whole procedure you have to do right so please be cautious it's a simple steps so i'll go step by step you have to follow me each and every step will make this very simple and do it complete and and then uh, and then leave please right sit do hard it takes 15 minutes complete it remember we have alternative but don't be installation be a reason for you to create a gap right now let's go to step by step process now download intellij right now go to intellij download go to google intellij download there is a first link click this first link right it will open but don't click the download immediately scroll down scroll down right you have to click this download you have to click this download okay uh remember for mac folks choose the appropriate uh, download accordingly linux you need not worry about it there's a different different way to do it windows scroll down you have exe download just click it exe windows now intellij gets downloaded here right let it down so we are almost done folks so it will download it may take it may differ from uh, person to person but that's okay now see it gets downloaded it may be faster for few laptops it may be slow for other laptops yeah so that's it the intellij is downloaded now just click it now it start we have to start the installations now right so first i have gone into now i am in the first step right so download is completed downloading intellij is completed now it's time to go ahead with installing intellij right yeah so while once you click that folder you may get a pop up like this check you may get a 
pop up like this at the bottom. You see? You will see something here at the bottom. Check, check, check here. Check here. You may get like this. So even though you, if you, if you, if you are using a personal laptop, give it, or click that uh, button. Your pop up will appear. If you are using a personal laptop, give yes. If you are not using personal laptop and it's official laptop, that's okay. Give no. That's everything. anything is fine. If possible, give yes. No will also work. Don't worry. Now once you click that, the box will appear. Now it's time to install the setup. Next, next, next. Install. That's it. IntelliJ will be installed. Let it install. it intel j is installed just check this box i mean i'm running it now finish that's it intel j will open now meanwhile i'm just marking this as done that's it now intel j has opened it so this box may appear for you just click it at the bottom confirm just continue now this box will appear this is a very important box you know now what you have to do third step download python all right you have to download Python. Check. This step is in progress. Now go to that IntelliJ. Plugins. In this plugins, in the search box, type Python. Type Python. It will list. You have to select the second one. Right? It's Python Community Edition. Right? You have to select the second one. Install. Just click the install. Installation will continue. You will see the progress here. Right? So this may take a while. And this gets installed. See? You will get that it's completely installed. Wait for it. See, your Python is installed. Now the download is in, the download is done. Now, still it is not yet completed. You have to download the Python interpreter also. Go to projects, new project. Go to projects at the top, new project. Now here, type any name. My first or second, any name is fine. But select the Python here. Select the Python here. Select the Python here. Right now, you have to install Python. All right, you have to install Python. Right by default, right, it is selecting my required Python. Sometimes that re required Python will not be there. Let me show you. Right, it may show like this. See, once you selected Python. It may show like this, all right? Download anything, that's okay. If you already have any Python install, as I showed in the outside, just proceed with the create. Or else if you don't have it, it may show like this. So select 3.10 and create. Now, first Python download, first one was Python plugin. This is a Python download. Once the download is completed, it may install. During that install, again, it may ask you for the installation access. 
All right. Let's give the installation access. See, again, it is asking here. If you check, it will show you here, right? If you check, it will again show you installation access. Just give yes. You have to give yes. Yeah. So now Python installation will appear and the project will open. That's it. The project started coming up. All right. So, but wait for it because it is indexing at the bottom. Please check at the bottom. Please check at the bottom. It is indexing at the bottom. Please check. Please check. Let's wait. You'll see at the bottom, see? That's it, indexing is completed. Now I can mark if this one is completed. This one is done and creating a new project is done. Now it's time to install Wellspar, right? Be very careful from now. Go to IntelliJ, right? Now you will see a terminal here. Did you see a terminal here? So did you see a terminal here? That you have to click, right? Let's click it. Now terminal will open. Be very careful. Type pip install pip space install all small space by spark. See pip space install space by spark all small. Please take care. Please take shoot. That's it. Now it will install the pie spark. See, now pipe pip install started. All right. Now it will install the PySpark now. Wait for it. That installation is completed. Successfully installed PySpark. Now this one is completed. Now install JDK. Right. Now what you have to do, go here, type project structure, right? Project structure, SDK, right? Uh, you may not have this, that's okay. Now what you have to do, plus download JDK, all right? Plus download JDK, click download JDK. This box will appear. Now click the version here, right? Go down 1.8. Right, go down 1.8. It will download in this path. Remember, this path is very important for us. And download it. It will take some time for you to download it since I already have it has come directly. All right. It, it, this corridor will finally, this box will be there with, with Java installed. Now be very careful. Copy this path. Copy this path and place it in a notepad. Very, very important, okay? Very, very important. Now, once it may take some time for you to download, give apply, oh, that's it. Now, this makes, right? This makes JDK installation completed. Next, create pi file with any name. How to create a pi file right click the whole project right in the right side in the right click the whole project new pi file give us any any name is fine first any name is fine 
first.py. See, the file has come up, right? Now, from now, you should be more and more careful, right? What you have to do, please watch. You have to go to a URL now, right? That URL will be available in your announcement group, right? To get this URL, you can go to common, you go to common group, you know? common group, right? In the common group, I am going to post it as code URL. Click that URL. That URL will be available here. Just click this URL, okay? Paste it in a browser. See, this particular code is available now. I already had it open. This particular code is available now. Select entire code. Paste it in the IntelliJ 55. All right? But be very careful. All right? Be very careful because when you do this, you should be more and more careful here. But remember, once a code is pasted, you will see some Java home is set, right? You have some Java home. Did you see a double quotes here? Empty double quotes. There you have to, you already copied the path, right? This path should be given here. That's it. This path should be given here. It will change person to person. Now right click. You have to run that, right? You have to click run, right? Right click, run first. That's it. You are done, right? Let's see the output. You will get it as success. Spark journey started. That's it. Kindly, kindly don't worry if anything is work, not working, come to the route session or we have alternatives. All right. Please complete this. Thank you.